I'm Sarah Hollenbeck at Zoo Tampa, where right now animal rescuers are tending to a manatee that got stuck in a Pasco County storm drain. Turns out there's been a lot of manatee rescues recently. It's not something you see or hear every day. A three month old manatee guzzling a bottle. I just want to pick it up and cuddle it. Bring a smile to visitors at Zoo Tampa. Rescuers found the baby manatee orphaned in Palm Harbor one day after Hurricane Idalia. She's been here at Zoo Tampa ever since. What's there not to love? They're a giant sea cow. They're just as cute as they can be. And with all that cuteness comes a whole lot of curiosity. They are um, very curious and they do end up getting into trouble sometimes. I know there have been rescues over the years of manatees in spaces that are super unusual. And that was absolutely the case this week. Wednesday morning, Port Ritchie firefighters got the sight of a lifetime. It's incredibly unusual to find a manatee in a storm drain. I'm sure whoever found that animal was uh, pretty confused. A male manatee stuck inside a stormwater drainage pipe on US 19 near Grand Boulevard. First responders working together to pull him up, load him into a truck, and bring him here to the zoo. One day earlier, Clearwater Marine Aquarium leaders rushed out to Bird Island in Clearwater, where this manatee found itself stranded on the sand. Rescuers determined the manatee was healthy and released it back into deeper waters. FWC tells us they've responded to 115 manatees that needed rescuing this year. That compares to 106 in all of last year. Wildlife experts aren't sure how these two got stranded, but blame Hurricane Idalia for some of the recent rescues, as rising tides brought the sea cows to unusual areas. And since they average 1,500 pounds, once stuck, they need a little help. Usually they're, they're healthy animals. They were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Rescuers hope these two manatees serve as a reminder to always be on the lookout for our beloved sea potatoes. As the old saying goes, You see something, say something. At Zoo Tampa, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.